Welcome everyone, it's Gracia Guy, Rock and Gracia as always. We have our last pre-release kit of Rivals of Ixalan. So let's kind of get into it. Oh, do I have a... Let's see if I can have a little poker. No, that didn't really help. Oh, jeez. We're doing it live! There we go. Man, unable to open up pre-release kit. All right, what is our uh, pre-release? Oh, we got, ooh, Vana's Hunger. All right, not worth a lot, but let's see. We got to send each opponent sacrifice a creature. If you have the six blessing, as said, each opponent sacrifice half of the of the creatures here. She controls and rounded up. All right, cool. That's actually not bad. <clears throat> got a white spin down. The Ravels of Excellent symbol, and of course we've got. Four packs of rivals and two packs of regular salon. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just let's just crack in and see what we're gonna grab. Oh, these packs do not want to. Oh, yeah, they're tearing. They're not opening the way they're supposed to, though. How is everyone doing? I hope they're having a great day. These cards, ugh, these cards feel weird. All right, so we got a little, a little human pirate action going on. Some vampires. Sea legs, a little dinosaur hunter. All right, hunt the weak. That's right. I need to put him in this hand. Vampire spirits. There's more black. Soul of the rapids. I only played one pre-release with Rivals of Ixalan. Evolving wilds. That's good. I like some direct damage. Hmm. Legion's lieutenant. I haven't played a pre-release since uh, Rabdica Legions. See, Everdon Champion, Human Soldier, Final Combat Damage will be dealt to Everdon Champion. All right. Ooh, we got a Polyraptor. Nice. That's a nice mythic. Sweet. Yeah. Pretty happy. I, I like Polyraptor. It's a pretty good combo. And a Swamp and a Minecraft token. I'm still trying to get a, uh, what is the, it's the mythic artifact. I forget what it's called. All right, so we got Crashing Tide. A little di more dinosaur action going on here. Okay. Ooh, Raptor Champion. Vampire Soldier. Hmm, Hardy Veteran. Another Hunt the Week. Okay. Martyr of Dusk. Dark Inquiry. Another one of those. Another Soul of the Rapids. Okay. I like when I'm getting duplicates in these uh, limited kits. Uh, Seer. A little Highland Lake action going on there. Oh, there's a foil in here. We got Needle Tooth Raptor. Oh, Siege Horn Ceratops. Nice. All right. That's uh, more dinosaurs. We got a foil recover. Return target creature card from graveyard to your hand and draw a card. Eh, not bad. We have an island and a dinosaur token. All right. So it's, I'm, I'm torn between dinosaurs, maybe a white, white green um, right now. We got a raptor, we got another moment of the triumph, which is like the ink is all smeared. Sailor of Means. Uh, Canal Monitor. Orozka Frillback. Dusk Charger. Another Bombard. Stubhorn Sentry. Colossal Dreadmaw, nice. Definitely gonna go, definitely gonna have to go green if I got Colossal Dreadmaw. Kites Air Quarter Sail. Horn Swoggle, hmm. Never really focused much on blue. Reckless Rage. Uh, Carcophion, oh, okay. And our rare is Induced Amnesia, okay. We have a Plain Sand Vampire token. So, how about that Modern Horizons, everyone? It looks pretty spicy. I wish I would have, I'd say about a month ago, I thought about all of the slivers I should buy to make this sliver deck eventually, and I saw they were all between 40, the, the like the the high-end rares, uh, like Sliver Queen and, and Sliver uh, uh, sliver Legion or Legion Sliver, whatever. All of those ones were not expensive. And now, once Modern Horizon was spoiled and all the new slivers in Modern Horizon, all of those slivers are gone. <laughs> they're out of, they're out of, they're, they're either out of stock or they're double the price that they were, which is a shame. 
because uh, I would definitely like those. I don't know if Swiver Queen is reserve list or not. A little negate action going on. Another hardy veteran. Vampire Revenant. Knight of Stampede. Or the Stampede. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that one. Definitely going to go in the dinosaur deck. Uh, Overground Armasaur. Tiona's Crown. Grasping Scoundrel. Hmm, we got a Flying Vampire. I always like Flying Vampire for three. It's a 2 3 for three. Not bad. Verwise Augur. Majestic Helioptrus. Siren Reaver. And a Sphinx's Decree Sorcery. Each opponent can't cast instants or sorcery spells during their player's next turn. Hmm. And a Treasure Token if well. Now we go on to Ixlon. If we get a Carnage Tyrant, definitely going to go down. Probably going to go dinosaurs anyways. Although I do kind of like... I could see splashing in some black. We got the looming Altasaur. Should have had reach. Uh, Queen's Agent. Brazen Buccaneers. Commune with dinosaurs, all right. Sailor of Means. Siren's Ruse. Unknown Shores. Run Aground. Anointed Deacon. Pirate's Cutlass. Oh, it's our first, uh, it's our first equipment, or artifact. Makeshift Munitions. Uh, Kumara's, is it Kumana's? Kumena's? Kumena, yeah, it's Kumena's. Kumena's Speaker. No, it's in the green. Walk the Plank. Eh, yeah, I can see that one. And a Sorcerer's Spyglass. I do like the Sorcerer's Spyglass. All right, and a Swamp and Treasure Token. How many cards are in this set? 279. We got Paradon Knight. Queen's Bay Soldier. Rummaging Goblin. Bishop Soldier. Depths of Desire. Oh, you know I put Walk the Plank in the wrong spot. Commune with dinosaurs. Another Colossal Dreadmaw. Definitely going to have to play green. <laughs> maybe not mono green. Maybe mostly green with a little bit of something else. Hijack. Contract Killing. Blinding Fog. I like Fog. Uh, Verdant Rebirth. Until end of turn, turn creature gains. Okay, yeah. Air Elemental. Ooh, Myko. Myko Green with a splash of blue. Snapping Sailback. Okay. And our rare. Oh, Rootbound Crag. Oh, we're definitely going to have to have a little bit of a little splash of red going on there. That is a nice, nice land card. So, yeah, I mean, Bonus Hunger, probably not actually going to... Let me, let, me, let, me, let me look at my black pile here. I don't know. There are some good... Uh, there's some decent stuff, but there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of substance in my black. Not a lot of duplicates. But in my green, I have quite a few... Quite a few big bombs, quite a few dupes, some Hunt the Weak, and uh, I could see making, <laughs> I might actually, I could see making Naya Dinosaurs, definitely with the, the two Colossal Dreadmaws that they got. <clears throat> the Hunt the Weaks, the Polyraptor, like, I definitely think green would make a good basis. Um, maybe green-white with the Ceratops would work out good, and we got the Seer, so... Yeah, yeah, I think maybe green white might might actually be not a bad way to go, like green white dinosaurs. Apologies, uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you would play. Maybe a green white splash some red. Let's see, we got a little hijack. Let's see what we got in here that's that I would play. Yeah, there's some dinosaur, reckless rage, bombard. I could see I could see doing some a couple bombards, one or two. I think I have two bombards. Yeah, I got two bombards. I could see playing both of these. I always like Hijack. Hijack's always good. Yeah, I can see splashing in for a couple of these dinosaurs. Yeah. His haste. Would deal combat damage to player until... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could definitely see that going on here. So maybe, uh, maybe yeah, maybe a little maybe a little Naya action going on here. Maybe not. Because let's see. What do we got? That would be good. That would be good. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe Naya dinosaurs is where I would end up. Yeah. All right. Well... That'll be the last Rivals of Ixalan. I don't think I'm ever going to open any more Rivals of Ixalan on this channel. 
Uh, and well, I still okay. So I have two boxes of Ixalan, and I think two boxes of Rivals of Ixalan sealed in my vault. Um, and well, it's not really a vault. I just it's in the closet. Uh, but I have them sealed up, and at some point, you know, I might crack them open, or I might sell them, or I might draft with them. But this is probably the last Rivals you're gonna see for a very long time, uh, unless I just happen to come across some Rivals, but. Uh, I, like for me, Rivals of Ixalan was what I wanted Magic, or I mean, the the whole Ixalan block was kind of what I wanted from Magic at the time, because when I came back to Magic, I had started an Odyssey and I came back. Uh, I think I ended around Kamigawa is when I last stopped playing, but I came back to um, Kaladesh and Aether Revolts when I came back, and I was like, oh man, because I remember maybe it was Mirrodin. I remember. I remember Mirrodin sort of partially and I remember the artifact set being super cool and loving the artifact set um, <clears throat> but I even back then when like whatever was in standard I was still heavily playing with just decks I brewed myself and like combos I brewed myself I remember having infinite squirrels and all that all that shenanigans like that and pay and like I think I owned two earthcraft at the time maybe three earthcraft I don't know anyways I don't have any of those cards anymore which makes it kind of sad but because they probably got traded away for garbage or they probably got sold for way below value. But uh, I remember coming back and Kaladesh and Aether Roll were, were artifacts and I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I really liked Amonkhet. I don't know, a lot of people didn't like Amonkhet, Our Devastation Block. I really liked Amonkhet. I actually thought Our wasn't too bad. I didn't, I didn't open a lot of Our though, uh, just because uh, it just didn't seem like a, a set I wanted to open. I opened a one one booster box and one well no I opened two booster boxes I did a bunch of drafts with our but that was about it um, and then Ixlon came out and I kind of teetered off playing magic around around Ixlon I still went to pre-releases but I didn't play a lot after Ixlon came out because the dinosaur decks came out I started getting more heavy into Warhammer again uh, but yeah anyways this has been rambling on for way too long I really like Ixlon Kind of wrapping all around. I really like the dinosaur theme. I think the vampire theme and the pirates were kind of funny. Uh, Merfolk. Eh, I mean, some people would say the Merfolks were really good, but I I thought the dinosaur theme just kind of brought me back to my childhood. So I like it, and uh, I hope Colossal Dreadmaw keeps going. Anywho, have a good day and see you around later.